Hi, Super Spruce here, back on our Factorio Plus Plus video, episode 18, and yeah, I'm gonna make this um, red circuit build that I was planning to do. So, we haven't even unlocked red circuits yet, but it's the next thing I'm gonna research. And what you need for it is you need um, plastic, which is, I, I, I'm going to make from that steel trash and plastic trash from the Carfetium ore, um, copper cables and green circuits. And this is a huge pain to make. The, the first thing is that it needs, instead of copper, it needs copper cables, which is just another unnecessary step. And it's just annoying. It's, it's, it's plain annoying. But I guess that's what I gotta deal with in this. So it's it isn't really hard to make these copper cables. It's just gonna take up extra space and I don't want that. So that's why I'm just a little annoyed. It's not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things, even in this game, but it's just annoying. So what I'm gonna do here is, is I'm going to, this will be the copper cable build and this will be the copper cables. I will need four um, red circuits. Now the actual red circuit is gonna be, it's, you, you're gonna need a lot of, I, yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of these. This may seem like a lot, and that's because it is, a, I actually need this much. I am currently gonna build 16, and yeah, that's a lot. And what I'm actually doing here is, um, essentially the copper cable, oh, why is this, it's one, one too far to the left. Dude, why am I not? <laughs> Can I just build this correctly? Um, so, this essentially what I'm gonna do is that um, one there's gonna be copper cables on the right. There'll be um, plastic and green circuits on the left, and it'll be like it'll be two belts that somehow merge together and then they split into, or they they, no, they split into their like respective racers and then they. I split into two belts that each have each resource. I know, it's complicated. And the output is directly in the, the center. Actually, I want the output to be going this way because it's going to be on the belt. It's going to be um, right below green circuits. And I will be using so many green circuits that green circuits is one of the most heavily it's just one of the most heavily used items on the belt, but it's just something I I'm gonna have to deal with. And I've I've heard in Factory Plus Plus there are even higher tier belts than like in the vanilla game. There's yellow belts, red belts, uh, red belts are twice as fast as yellow belts, and then blue belts, which are three times as fast as yellow belts. But I've heard that there's like belts in this game that are like ten times as fast as yellow belts. So yeah, that'll be interesting. And also with green circuits is that you can easily outsource them to like somewhere else and then like it shouldn't be too bad to outsource um, red circuits. Like to the point where that two blue belts of green circuits will be enough until your I wouldn't say mega base scales, but like very large base. Like larger than I've ever built. So what I'm now doing here is I'm just doing the same thing with copper wire. Um, I'm going to need to extend these even further. Yay. It's now getting dangerously close to the run ferret ore, which means, I mean, I will have stuff on the bottom and, and I will definitely be doing that for like oil based stuff. And I guess I can put blue science down there. It will also be possible to what I call spaghetti belts like through some of these builds like the military science build for example what I mean by this I'll just show you it's like this and it's a way that you can just kind of weave them through your builds it's very useful if you want to save space I designed I designed the inserters of my builds in order to have this maximum weaving potential I know it's stupid, but that's what I do. 
Oh, it looks like I've made a little error here with this because these green circuits are needed for these inserters and that's why this has been stuck at 85% for like forever. I'm like, can't this just finish? No, it's not finishing because of that. Oh, I also need to grab belts from here because I'm I just internally in need of more and more of these belts. So here the bottom belt of copper will go up. I guess I can just like extend this by one more just so I can put this splitter here and this will be more copper wire that actually I can just do shift right shift left and that'll be easier. So now I can just do this. I'm pro I will want fast inserters instead of these um, slow inserters for, for this sort of thing though. So because like the I mean, eventually I probably will be upgrading these tier one. Maybe it won't, uh, but I, I need to I need to actually craft these fast inserters. So I'll be using this to, um, yeah, just make red circuits. It's not not that um, complicated. I was gonna say it's not rocket science, but eventually we get into rocket science in this. Eventually, um, we're, we're not there yet. So now I can, well actually I don't even want to try doing this because this will be um, a combination of green circuits and plastic and that's it's kind of weird. I guess I can place electric poles down, that's, a, that's something I can easily do and it doesn't like require anything crazy. I can also place down more inserters, the inserters for the central um, thing, that, that, yeah that's that's what I'll do. So um, again, I think just yeah, fast inserters like this. Actually, you know, I want to do it like this. What I'm doing is, is I, I do it like this, so I can I can just use um, lanky inserters every other time and every other one of these, and then just do the same here. And then, um, electric poles is kind of weird with this. Um, I need to do it on every single tile. I know, this is stupid, but that's the way that it works. Um, yeah, there we go. And then I can just put this here, this here, and at least I can put the copper wires into place. I probably also want a little bit of um, belt balancing here, not even that much. Just like even this, just doing this will be decent. And this is research is finally finished, which means yeah, now going directly to advanced electronics because red circuits are going to be used so much later on in this playthrough. It is the, the biggest strain of mid game resources, and even in, even into the late game. It is an enormous strain on everything. So now what I want to do is I just want to kind of get this down to where the red circuits are going to go. And they're going to go... Ah, can I, can I my mouse work for once? Um, so I do this. Actually, can I... Um, and... Um, I just do this, and there's all of my splitters and all but four of my underground belts. Now, of course, I now need to reverse the direction of this. Yippee. So now there's actually a couple things I want to do at this point. Um, first, I want to set up the um, Carfetia processing because I can finally do that. I guess I can also set up the mining of Carfetium ore, uh, but first I kind of want to get this just into the chest. So I'll activate these mining drills. This is definitely going to be a huge power strain. I'm guessing I'm going to need to increase power production after this because this is actually quite um, power intensive to just do all of this mining. So boom, there is all of this. Let's see if there's a power strain. Uh, if I can just check, 
There's actually no power strain at this point, surprisingly. Now I want to. Oh yeah. Okay. I, I, there's no like recipe for this. I just need to get this to to do anything. And also, I, I just want to get rid of this inserter at this point because um, I want to just filter plastic waste. So steel steel trash goes on the right. So do this. I'll put steel trash here. And I'll, I have one steel trash here that I can just do this and. This should, this hopefully should work. Also, with this steel, I need to prioritize um, this input because it's from mixed ore. Um, not, not, not that input, this input. Um, and of course, I just need electric poles on um, this. Oops. Just like this. And boom, now I am making steel and plastic. Now, another thing I do want to do is I want to make some landfill. And what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to... I need a splitter for this, and I need iron for that. Uh, it's annoying. I also need to really put this in here and put as much of this as I can. I guess I can get, I can now finally take the comfort team ore. Um, and then just put it in here. You can see iron production is now quite a lot better. It's now almost half a yellow belt, and that's just that's just so useful. Eventually, I may want to use multiple belts of iron because I'm actually I may actually need that much. So this is the landfill factory. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting. And I'm going to use a chain of wooden chests instead of anything more efficient. Because wood is completely useless. And I guess there is that whole carbonizing tech, but I don't really care for that. I'd rather just do this. It's, it's, all, it's just more interesting to, to see. Because it, it's, a, it's just a big chain. I'm even doing this because apparently there's a chest full of stone here that I can just put stuff in here to make more landfill. There's even a huge supply of stone all over here. Okay, it's not that big, but it's a thousand stone, which is quite a lot for just some rocks. So what I want to do here is I want to um, make a whole new line for plastic here. And this, um, yeah, it's going to be a whole other line on the bus. It may even need two lines, but I don't think it quite needs two lines. I think it is heavily used. I mean, eventually it can be outsourced to somewhere else, but plastic is actually quite heavily used to the point where it's I, I can seriously consider more than one line of it. Okay, so I've actually completed the plastic belt, and that will be used to make red circuits. You can see I'm, I'm already almost finished with this um, research just because I can actually now produce green science which is yay and this is gonna connect to see the plastics gonna go in this third belt here which means yes I need even more um, belts as if I didn't have enough you can never have enough belts in, in this game okay I've extended all the belts to here and now I'm going to be combining the green circuits and the uh, the plastic. So this is kind of interesting. I'm not even sure how to quite do this. Um, I think what I can do is I can do like two splitters like this. Um, this will be actually I think I think I know what to do. So it'll be something like this, where there'll be four splitters. Um, I guess the center ones can be green circuits, and the it doesn't really matter. I, I can make it just actually right here to to put a little more space. Actually, no, it shouldn't be this way. It should be like one should be green circuits, and then this should be plastic. And 
or to do this the best way I should actually do underground here this will save space and then same deal here it doesn't really it doesn't matter which order everything's in and actually um, I can get away with um, putting these a little closer to each other it'll still work and I mean I guess I don't need it to be that way but I, like it doesn't really matter yeah, it doesn't matter the order all that matters is that um, on each side there needs to be one green circuit and one um, plastic so well, for green circuits I guess I will I'll do this I'll first balance it so there is one green circuit um, the other can just go no, it need, is the other one, if this is, green circuits are going here, that means the other one needs to go here. Um, not quite sure if I can, uh, okay, I want to use the bottom belt here, um, because, um, it, it would not work to use the top, or the bottom belt in the other place. So, actually, does this even work? Uh, no, it doesn't. Interesting. Well, in that case... Oh, it's, it's already too late. Okay, um... In that case, I just need to use an extra underground belt that I would would not have needed to use. It's not that big of a deal. It's just gonna make it look a little uglier. But it still works. So now I'm gonna need a similar thing for plastic. And... Plastic can I can just do this. I can I can do it like this. And okay, I do need to underground this as well. And then just drag this oh, really. That, that's annoying. So there's one plastic. The other plastic will be literally right here. And because of this weird thing, I need to put it here. Really? Again? The splitter here. And now all I need is just a few more underground belts. And I will... It will be finished. I can actually make red circuits. Before this research is even finished. Okay, research finished. This means I can finally make red circuits. And... You can see I'm just fully ready. <laughs> I, I I was waiting for this. I know how important red circuits are. And this is going to put a huge strain in copper, which is going to allow me to, to finally make more iron. Because of the weird mechanics of copper up there. So the next thing I'm definitely doing is this, because I want to unlock accumulators, which essentially go hand in hand with solar. And I've been... I was just looking at my resource usage, and stone, I only have 86,000 of it, and with all this landfill that I'm going to need to get rid of this lake, um, I'm going to need a new stone source. And I was looking, and there's nothing really nearby. There is this one, but first of all, I don't want to expand north, and second, that's still pretty far. There is this one, but it's kind of the same thing. This one is more in the direction that I want to go, but it's quite far. The other one is actually here and I may actually start building a train line so I can reach this one because um, this is um, it's quite an interesting location there's also a lot of oil here and it's extremely safe so because well if you know your geography Nova Scotia is an island basically and all you need to do to reach it is just get through this, which means there needs to be a train line through the oil, which is weird. Or maybe I can just put a huge train station here. There's a lot of interesting stuff here. Like This would be one big New Brunswick train station, but that's what I'll do. There's also a whole bunch of stuff out west here, like northwest, but... Like, there's a, just a bunch of ore I don't even need at this point. And, yeah, I, th I think I actually may start building some kind of a train, because do I really want to belt this? And then this is going to be, this is a valuable oil vein, and it's just, there's just so much, though. Like, how am I going to fit all the train stations? 
the thing is that like normally normally it would just be the iron, the copper, the um, stone, the uh, what is it? The coal, and the oil, and the uranium. I don't even think there's is any you know there's this uranium. Um, I'm not gonna go nuclear this save because or at least I don't think I am. Solar power is just gonna be better. And yeah, this will be the beginning of the big push southward. Because that's where what I wanna do. And I'm not exactly sure where my solar is gonna go. Because eventually there will be huge solar fields. It'll probably be down south like this way. But yeah, this will be very, very interesting. And as you can see, I am producing red circuits. I'm actually using the full potential of this 16. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm actually not low in power. That, that's how good these tier one things are, like the tier one assemblers. The tier two assemblers, they're like 50% faster and they use four times the electricity. Like seriously, you, do, you don't need that. Um, the other thing I want to do before expansion, though, is blue science because it's, I already have two of the three ingredients for blue science. I don't, I'm not even sure if I've researched blue science yet. I haven't. This I need to research this because all you need is one sulfur, three red circuits, and two engine units. Which engine units won't be too hard to make. It's essentially just iron and steel. And yeah, you can see how close I am to that. And that's definitely going to be next episode, because I want to get that going before I expand. Actually, I probably even want to get a little bit more going before that. And this will be the oil stuff. And then I can expand for stone. I probably should get rid of this eventually, though. Because this is kind of... You can just see how much landfill... It's not even that much landfill. But... Eventually, all I need to do is just get this lake. What is this? That's not. It's a diamond. What the? Okay. I guess I can grab it. Didn't even know diamonds existed in this mod. Okay. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.